Hi, my name is Grace, and if you didn't know, I like to run, jump and throw. I decided to document the second half of my outdoor season this year to highlight the highs and lows of this sport. So sit back, relax and enjoy the journey. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys. If you're new, my name is Grace, and today is Welsh Senior Champs. Well, so is tomorrow as well. It is the, oh, I don't even know what day it is. It is the 24th of June, two days of back-to-back -back comps, super excited, down in Leckwith, so nice and close for me for once. And yeah, bit of a logistical nightmare today. My 100 metres starts at quarter past two, 20 past two. My long jump starts at quarter past two. I've got my sticky note because I'm gonna forget. So, you know, I'm gonna do some absolute grace. I'm not gonna masterclass today of juggling events, but What's new? Not much. Heptathlete, my own choice. So hopefully see some friends along the way. I'm hurdling and I've got high jump tomorrow, so super excited. So if you enjoy, please give this video a big thumbs up and we're gonna head to the track in about five, 10 minutes. Gonna have a little sing song Taylor Swift before I go because what's new? Nothing. She announced she comes to Cardiff next year. I was hyper. It was a pretty immense announcement. So give me a little sing song, get hyped. I'm so excited to compete. I'm doing 100 flaps. I haven't done 100 meter sprint since early May. And we did that off not much kind of like block work and sprint stuff, but I've had a really good couple of months. I'm so excited to compete. Oh, mum's just getting ready in the background, hello. So yeah, really exciting time. I have got one week left of my university engineering placement as well. And then after that, summer of competing, full send, even more than I already have. So we will see, but very exciting. Got my blue vest on, bag is packed, got my the essentials, my alien blanket, what is new? So it should be good fun. So I will see you later at the stadium. Well, off they go. Go and get themselves covered in sand. Very important day for the field. <laughs> oh, I love my dad's hat. Anyway, I got 100 meter PV. Really, really happy. 12:48. Super, super happy with that. And I had a really good long term comp. I jumped. 5.49 after running back and forth between the two of them was a little bit chaotic but I think it's maybe the best I've jumped outdoors this season potentially but how do you go and grace and train? I imagine it's really loud um, but no I'm really happy so then for the day we're gonna head to house to get some food. Dad how was today? Tip top day PB 100 meter PB with a minus wind outstanding huge progress there and five very good long jumps consistent and the, the no jump yeah was it was like, a big no jump mm, yeah nice. so yeah really delighted with that so um, very very hot and uh, i stole your hat starting to become a bit windy and i um, i caught a bit of sun in my head because i lost my hat for somebody <laughs> yes yeah, a really good day and see you tomorrow Hello, Ooh, three baby hairs. British champs week, head to the track now. Literally through there. Hurdles on the menu tonight. I think maybe some high jump, but got some new shoes to try out. Good to see Bobby, so we'll see how that goes. It's a nice little afternoon actually around Izzy's house. 
chilling with some former athletes, current athletes, just like nice little catch up really. But yeah, try and put some clips in from training tonight, but new Adidas shoes to try. I normally sprint in the Nike Superfly Elites, I think they're called. No, Max Flies, maybe. So um, we'll see. I'm really excited actually. Why not? A new change for me. I can't get my foot in the spike. So plan tonight, I think, a few ones over one to three hurdles that I'm going to push for. Laura's just going, I've got my new shoes on. Let's see how it goes. Good morning, we are in Manchester. Today is the UK Outdoor Championships. I'm very excited to compete. Stayed in Pembroke last night and yeah, leaving about 10 minutes or so. I'm doing the sprint hurdles today, so 100 meter hurdles to me at like half one ish. Yeah, very excited. Got a little, I don't know, white vest on, got my comp kit in my bag. I have successfully read basically this entire book in a day. Go me. Yeah, can't wait to race. We some really, really fast girls there today, so can't wait to get in the mix, see what we can do, and go from there. But I'll film some clips when we get there, get my lot of accreditation, my number with my name on it, which is really cool. So I'll show you all of that, but yeah, feeling good, very excited, had a good week of training, got some new spikes this week, which I'm gonna try out today as well. Ready for the HEP in two weeks. So we'll see. I'll see you later. I'm here, I'm in warm up, just seen joining the physio. Cleared over my hamstring and my glutes, all good, but I've got my little number. G Morgs, it's just like G Morgs, isn't it? G Morgan. Accreditation. I am going to go to my parents now and to warm up in about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go see them. I need to finish doing my hair, putting in a bun. I'm so excited. Now I'm here, I'm like, I love confidence. I love big champs, but I can't wait. I'll see you after the race. Five this season. Another Morgan, Grace Morgan from Cardiff Archers. She's a Welsh international athlete. She's on 14.04 as a new lifetime best this season. Jessup with a fast start in lane seven. Marley Jessup at the moment looking like she's got the best of the rest of the field. Rising just in front of Blundell, but Blundell is on the charge here. And look at this from Jessica Monkton, the combined events athlete. That was a win in the end for Jenna Blundell. Marley Jessup just coming un unstuck a little. I ran some 14 for this time ever. Oh, I'm so happy. Just literally just came in. I'm still in my comp kit. I'm soaked. My hair is soaked. My shoes are soaked. My feet are soaked. 13.92. I'm so happy. My dad was at the end and I jumped on him. <laughs> oh man. Tell me more later. <laughs> I did it, Dad. <laughs> my first of 14. It's two o'clock. I'm so hungry. Oh, it's, it's, it's a video. <laughs> it's a video. On thought. my vlog, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm so Sorry. happy. <laughs> so it's been, I can't remember actually when I filmed last, but it is Thursday the, oh I don't know, 16th, 17th of July. I've got a heptathlon this weekend. It is the British Command Events Championship, so quite exciting. It's Thursday, so a bit of a weird week. Haven't done loads. I've had a bit of a weird hamstring off the back of some really amazing comps. I'll probably put a better clip in of me. After my sprints in London, it was awesome, but did some high jump tonight, a lot better. Gonna throw some drive now. <laughs> Just mean a field to be honest. Um, yeah, so like my top set, mine never matter. I'm gonna get it done. Super excited to compete now. Should be quite a close comp actually. So I'm gonna try and film some clips along the way for you guys to see. But yeah, no, feeling good. It's quite a nice night, even though it's cloudy, quite mild. But yeah, just a bit of an update before everyone else comes out and joins me out here. Hello, I think last time I picked up the camera was Thursday before the British Command Adventure Champs, which was nearly two weeks ago now. So I came fifth, which is pretty good. Conditions weren't great. Even though the our hurdles results said we had a tailwind, I high jumped on the finish line, as in like looking down towards the track and I was getting blown into that bed. So I don't think that was right, but you know, you can't follow the results. Then it, the heavens opened. I'll insert some clips from this weekend as I talk from the live stream and from what we filmed. So shot was a bit Scary, but it's okay. 200, I was really disappointed with. Been running really well. Obviously, I PB'd two weeks ago in the 100 meter flat, which is amazing. So I really thought my 200 would be more there, but I think I just ran the race wrong, I executed it poorly, which is my fault. And it was like a minus 2.5 headwind, I think. So, you know, you live and you learn. But, you know, I did feel very down after day one. Just, I think a lot of things hit me, to be honest. Came my period as well, you know. Throw it all in the mix. So day two, I just, 
you know, I had to really dig deep and find something and jumped in outdoor long jump PB and I had no jump, put the video in now. And I was this close and these 583, they measured it. I was like, oh, I got it. Season's best in javelin, 33 meters 20 and then ran with whatever I'd left for the 800. So I came about 15, 16 points shy of my points PB. So given the conditions and how the weekend went, obviously ending day one on quite a low point, I'm really proud of myself. Had some time off, went to Venice with friends, which is really lovely. And then this week, is currently Friday. I think it's the 4th of August and National League tomorrow. However, I sprained my ankle on Monday. Obviously not ideal. I had a really great training session up to that point. Did some 80 sprints on the bend. We did some long jump drills and some shot. And then we did some jab fall indoors. And on my last throw, I landed. And I think I either tripped over myself or my foot landed, twisted and I went over on my left ankle. A lot of pain, a big crunch. I put, I put in some photos here, kind of like how it's gone throughout the week. But, you know, I did everything straight away. We iced it, elevated it, compression. Rest of Tuesday, did some light gym Wednesday. And then yesterday, managed to do a full warm up with some faster strides. Managed to do a few hood walkovers as well. So that was all positive. But obviously gutting, because technically I've got three weeks left the season now this weekend. And then obviously Belfast in two weeks. So it was like, you know, time reach doesn't seem to be want to be matching up for me. But yeah, we're going to see how tomorrow goes. I'm down to hurdle two shot and a 200 meter guest. Conditions, I've got no idea. I haven't really looked to be honest. We're going down to Bournemouth. So I'm gonna go from there, but I thought a bit of an update, you know, it's not all, uh, not all the highs on this vlog. You gotta get some lows. When life gives you lemons, you can't always make lemonade. <laughs> so current situation, I've got this kind of compression bandage on, which goes just middle of my foot. But you know, I got full movement. It is quite bruised, but we're thriving. I need to leave actually to go to Nyack which is the indoor athletics track in Wales. About 20 minutes, my bag is packed, outside the room. My sister and my mum have gone to Swansea because it's uh, Welsh swimming international, so my sister, my dad's gonna come down tomorrow to watch me compete. So yeah, a fun old time. Oh it's a lovely day. Oh Too many oh oh Who's in 4 by 4 Callum. <laughs> Hello, we're all here today. My hair is stuck. I've actually just got stuck on my bag. Oh, I'm really stuck. There we go. I'm lying down. I've just got my head stuck on my bag. I am actually stuck. We made to Bournemouth. Johnny's watching. Josh is... Not really. Can... He's competing. Right, how's it going? Masterclass Not in the 800s. Masterclass of last place in the 800. I uh, went out in last and finished in last. So it doesn't really get better than that. Not, not a good day with a 15 in this weather. So I got... Shot and two inches at the same time. I'm not going to hurdle. I decided not to hurdle, which I think is a good decision. My foot's okay. I can move that. Woo! <laughs> so we'll see. Oh my gosh, the weather is just going even worse. Oh my god. We're done. I have got the craziest hair right now, but weather's been all over the place. Obviously, last time I vlogged, it was tipping down with rain, and then it was fine. I'm warming up my two inches, you know, as you do, loving life. And then the heavens opened. Wasn't it bad, Dad? My dad's here. Oh, yeah, they said that Bournemouth was sunshine and blue skies and golden sands. Didn't see much of that today, I have to say. <laughs> it was horrendous. I mean, I was drenched, but I ran a season's best, a legal season's best in the 200. So I'm over the moon, given the conditions, given the week I've had. I went straight to shot and obviously it's a bit nervous with my foot, but I built every throw. I think I added like a meter from my first throw to my last one. So it's all right, about nowhere near a PB, but wasn't the point today. And then did a four by four. I ran with my shot shoes on to my bag, got my endurance bikes and did it. We came second, so I fingers crossed Harliff has been voted to the Premiership, which is was the big aim. So fingers crossed that's happened. But journey home now, but my sister is a swimmer and she's just won the Welsh Swimming Nationals. I'm so proud of her. I missed the live stream because I was racing, but dad watched it and she told me, you know, I was just so happy. I'm, she deserves it so much. But Izzy, bro, I love you. I'm so proud of you. But now we've got a three hour drive home. So I'll update you before Belgium. Ooh. Oh, hello. Um, just finished training. I updated you on, oh, after the comp. I did. So it's Monday. This week is make or break week, basically. But tonight is some high jump off short approach for box. Just putting some hands on and yeah that was okay did some like um quite fast like interval runs just kind of get get the system going and gym so all in all a positive session obviously my main worry is hurdles we'll come to that issue when we get to it um but for now 
positive. I had a big wobble yesterday and I love it for training, just, you know, wasn't sure how I was going to react, but tonight's going to be a bit of confidence. Should to keep doing what I'm doing, keeping the faith, trusting myself and going from there. So I'll update you later in the week. Hello, we're back. I high jumped earlier again, went really well. I'm in my drive shoes, it's a little bit dodgy, but as you can see, there were some hurdles behind me. Done it once, really happy. Gonna go again, I'm so bright. I fell over <laughs> doing drill, a lovely Mission Impossible style roll on my shin, my knee's been bleeding, but all is good and I'm gonna do some more. I did it. I did one, two over one, two over two from blocks. Yeah, really, really happy. It's been a gorgeous day. Really good mood. Yeah, so I think the plan is tomorrow we'll do a lovely, lovely running session of some sort. I'll let you guys know what it is and go from there really. But no, really big positive step forward today. And yeah, it's on, it's really on. <laughs> Hello, I can't remember the last time I did the vlog, but I'm in London. We just arrived at Lee Valley, which is the, there's an indoor and outdoor track here in London. This is Wednesday and I'm doing a sprint open because we don't actually know what's happening with Belgium. Long story short, obviously we went for accommodation, we booked it all because there wasn't really any reason not to. But they kind of said today that my entry hasn't been accepted. It's been quite a crazy few days to be honest. Very mentally challenging to kind of like work it all out. But you know, we're here. It might be the last race of the season. We don't actually know. I'm, well I've entered 100 metres and 200 metres tonight. So I'm really excited to sprint actually. I do love sprinting. Dad's here. Just outside. So we just got here. It's about half five. It's just gonna head in, have fun, run fast and yeah, I'm guessing let you know later, really. <laughs> body's felt good this week. I am aching quite a lot, to be fair, generally. It might just be my body being like, it's coming into the season. You know, you are a bit tired because I have done a lot in um, the past couple of months. So, yeah, let's just have fun tonight, run fast and go from there. Look at how pretty it is. You can't even see it properly. Yeah, it's so lush. Around top 56. Wind was apparently completely dead, like zero zero. Um, but it felt okay. It felt good, actually. So, only two cents off my PB. So, not nothing crazy so really happy with that 200 maybe like 45 minutes but the sun is going 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 so it's so, so nice just being back in london to be honest and i really love it here so yeah i'm excited to do the two gonna die but you know we love a bit of lactic acid so it should be good fun i'll see you in the car after i finish competing Around 25.74, so around a 200 meter PV. Yay, got in. There's flies everywhere, <laughs> literally everywhere. No, I'm so happy. It's been a long journey of my 200 this summer. Like, you can fall for me, you know, kind of like I wasn't pacing it correctly, but no, I'm so happy to finish on that. Yeah, season, our season wrap. So, oh my god, more flies. <laughs> yeah, hello. I'll debrief you in the car. <laughs> Hello, obviously this is not the car. I did not debrief in the car, I went home, it was so late. But it's such a good comp. Well, it's a couple of weeks later now. My next vlog, you can see some clips from winter, Belgium. Obviously we still went. Still had a great time as a family, which is amazing. So look out for the next vlog, a little theme park vlog coming for you. Yeah, so that's season done. Still lots to be proud of, you know, I PB'd in basically all my events. Well, I PB'd in all my events. I got equal PB in high jump. Het PB, bug medals this year, national finals. So lots to be proud of, I'm proud of myself. Now, a bit of an off season, a bit of a chill. But if you like this type of video where I kind of showed a bit of like my training and competing through like a couple of weeks, couple of months, please let me know. But anyway, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you for a new video very, very soon.